Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. We're going to have a look at something that a lot of locksmiths don't often get the chance to have a look at. And what that is, is it's actually outside of the work realm, but it's also incorporating a little bit of locksmithing along the way. So what it is, is it's actually a holiday. Most self-employed business people, especially locksmiths, never really get the chance to actually get away and go on holidays and because of that you miss seeing other types of locks that are out there in different parts so let's get on with it okay so in this video I thought we'd do something uh, kind of interesting something we've never looked at we look at locks on shops and all sorts of different types of locks but what about locks on a cruise liner never seen the type of locks different types of locks from different countries for obvious reasons security wouldn't give us that bigger in-depth look at the locks uh, they wouldn't tell us too much uh, but that's for obvious reasons, so we had a look around. There are plenty of things to do on a cruise liner, don't forget, apart from look at locks and work. Um, there are shows, two, sh two, three shows a day, all good to watch. Um, places like the Top Deck, we can sit there and drink alcohol, swim in the pool, and there are plenty of nice things to see, including the other people. Plenty of them in bikinis, plenty of alcohol, plenty of sun, and if you still need more things to do after that, you can always go down to the casino. Casino, as you see, um, plenty of security, plenty of card games, plenty of poker machines. And if that's still not enough, you can always take up a drinking. This is called a Toblerone. It's like a frappe with alcohol, and it's absolutely awesome, very addictive. And the food. Now, if you're still bored, you can eat three, four times a day, big meals, beautiful food, all day, every day. And if you still get bored and well you do after a long cruise like I did I thought I'd have a look at the locks that's what I'm going to do I'm going to take you around and show you the locks I've seen so here you have your um, steel frame doors and they've all got mortise locks in them they go the whole hog this is a standard type of profile a standard type of cylinder and once again it's made by Asa Abloy Trio Ving which is a new brand never heard of but once again it's made by Asa Abloy I found this uh, key, it's like an emergency key, you break this in case of emergency, but geez, if you lose that key, I'd hate to be the one to have to rekey it. Um, that's a big, big boat. Uh, that's just the profile, bit of a look at the profile there. When you look at the profile, it looks pickable. Keep in mind, on a bit of research, I found it out it had spool pins. Couldn't pull their locks apart, but found out it had spool pins. 90% of the time when you see this lock around the ship, you're going to see that it's actually mounted upside down. I believe that's to help increase the security in it. Of course, with spool pins mounted upside down, it makes it harder. So obviously, let's hope they've got good springs. Uh, all of the locks around the ship... I'm assuming they're all marine grade and the few that I did see were marine grade and the back of the cylinders too don't forget they're different to what we have in Australia um, they're held differently and different cams this is a quick example of just like a deadbolt on the toilet door so you put the key in you turn it mount it upside down stainless spotty on a stainless edge door nice install a lot of work to install of this um, here's another example just on a cupboard type of door um, so you can see they go to a lot of trouble to install their locks from new. Uh, here's another, just a typical very small cupboard using um, like a round rim cylinder. And here's a steel door, you know, same sort of thing again. Steel door welded on, all the bells and whistles. This is a high use door and you can see it's, um, you know, after 16 years it's still going good. It is a narrow type of mortise lock. This door here extremely thick and as you can see the stainless plate is like rebated in but they've still mounted a mortise lock into it as well. Not to forget the aluminium narrow style mortise locks. Once again, profile so the cylinders upside down. Here's one I found interesting. Um, the lock cylinder was about the same size as where the other lock cylinders were actually larger. This one was actually the same size as what we have in Australia. So that's just a Euro cylinder uh, in there as well. Uh, they had some nice furniture incorporated with the privacy function, full stainless, a lot of brass. This part I like, they've got a different type of latch compared to a lot of locks we use, which I like to call an easy an easy latch. Um, it's a triangle shaped, so when one triangle pushes in, it uh, slowly starts to depress the other latch, uh, which is actually a very quiet way of doing it. And I like that because it um, was quiet to use. Here's the striker plate, completely different to what we normally use. They use it on more cabin doors and toilet doors inside the cabin because you can close them quietly without the click click and the big, you know, type of slamming. One more part of this lock which um, 
I didn't get the chance to experience and didn't want to. It's been said that the captain can actually lock you in your room as well. So if the cylinder on the outside, um, I'm not too sure if that actually works as a deadbolt, but there is a turn snip on the inside which actually does work that bolt function there. But I have been told they uh, can confine you to your cabin if you misbehave. So that's just a quick look at uh, the locks on the actual cabin. These locks are all operated by key or swiper card. Swiper cards, they give you, look like this, a little magnetic. The master ones look yellow or red with no writing on, just that strip. I also noticed the lifts as well, um, don't have any keys or anything, they just work on a swiper card insert. Having a quick look at this door here, and it's um, you've got your lock, you've got a padlock, you've got a handle, and then you've got a big huge bar down the bottom. A lot of engineering went into these uh, doors with their locks. Some door closers now. Cabin door closer, nothing special. Door closer on a rail, works pretty good. Um, heavy duty door closers for some of the bigger doors. Um, elbow elbow um, door closer, nothing special. There was one that I was pretty impressed with and that was the double door closer. I've never seen somebody use two door closers like that and link them together for twice the power and twice the strength. So it's always funny as a locksmith you're always learning something new and it's a pretty ingenious way. It'll be twice as hard to open the door but it'll also give you twice the amount of power to close the door and um, I believe what they've done is they've mounted them together and they've put a linkage between one and two giving it twice the amount of force so I've, I thought that was really cool never seen it done and took a photo moving around the rest of the ship now there are your general type locks here you see a key cylinder switch with a uh, profile used for automatic doors kind of common vending machines once again um, I was happy to see some locks that you know we all know and love uh, tubular 7.5 or 7.8 um, Chicago type lock I believe it is He's, he even had the code on it um, uh, lift one of the uh, disabled lifts some showcase locks all have the code on simple cam locks so nothing really special there any old locksmith could do it a few padlocks in use and this little dimple key that little dimple key was on a vending machine and when I had a close look at some of the poker machines I see that they were actually using it too they were using a Chicago up the top and then they were flicking down for the cash drawers and things onto this like little dimple key definitely wasn't a carver but it was very similar I also did find some old alloy not sure where they came into the picture but there was some alloy and some cabinets and some drawers and things um, which was you know very very few but they were there one thing um, I didn't get a picture of was actually the where they keep the tokens for the gaming and um, that used a particularly different type of key it was a very small key working on a cam lock it uh, was an inline profile with a side uh, side mill on the side of it something I um, couldn't identify or hadn't seen but I knew what it was all about anyway that's a look at the cruise uh, cruise ship locks um, here's just the quick safe um, they have in your room and um, as you see the buttons been removed uh, battery powered just a little t cheap Chinese type of safe to start off with uh, to use it you just simply enter in any code you want and I think it's either four or six digits uh, push the hash button it closes enter in your code once again push the ha hash button it'll unlock for backup you've got the two dimples on the top there that's for your 9 volt battery and for override you've got your Dean key which is that round type of battery watch type and uh, they include instructions on it as well so that's pretty simple I hope you've enjoyed looking at some of the locks on a cruise ship a um, bit of an idea of what they got and where they got it um, and you know something different to com compare to what we see and that's just some of the sites you'll see if you go on a cruise rather than looking at locks thanks for watching